Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Sadie, and today we are going to do a comparison using the Alien palette and the Blood Money palette, because I've seen a lot of swatches online of how shades in here are very similar, so if you'd like to see the comparison, and is it really worth it? Did Jeffrey need to bring out all these green shades? Did he dupe them and not even mention it? Who knows? So if you'd like to see how I've done this look, then keep on watching. Okay, just a quick side note. Um, it started raining, so it's very loud at my conservatory. It stopped for a split second, but I really do apologise if it, like, starts back up again. Um, it's a bit of fucking shit because I've done my base and everything. I'm ready to record now. It's start raining. And it is half past ten at night, and I really want to get on with this video. So let's do it. So basically today, what I'm going to do is compare the Alien palette to the Jeffree Star Blood Money. Don't get me wrong, I am going to incorporate still some shades that don't include in the... Um, alien palette because the the blood money has a cohesive palette where aliens a little bit jumbled but i mean like i'm just going to really do like the main shades that were used and like people found dupes of and i'm going to do a couple of swatches side by side for you so this one here is divine intervention and then this one is pluto from the alien palette um you can obviously see that pluto's just got more of like a, a pinky gold shift whereas like um divine intervention is a green shift you then have abduction abduction oh my god why can't i say it abduction at the top and then you have chameleon fetish at the bottom so obviously you can see abduction from the alien palette is a lot more yellow tone this is poison ivy and this is alien from what the alien palette obviously really really similar shades you can just tell that aliens just got a little, little bit more of a lime color to it well i've just swatched these oh my camera won't focus they are literally fucking identical. That is Crocodile Tears and then you have Flying Saucer from the Alien palette. They are literally exactly the same shades. I'm not, I'm not being like, ah, oh, it might be one bit lighter. No, they're exactly the same shade. Anyone see the difference? No, so that is, I'm on, UF, no it's not. Yeah, it is UFO and then you have CEO. Literally exactly the same fucking shade. Fuck off, really? <gasps> no way. So that one on, I can't even remember what fucking swatches I'm doing. That is Probe, and that is Secret Stash from the Blood Money palette. They're fucking literally exactly the same. Damn. Um, yeah, people compared Tax Free and Moon Rock. Uh, a little bit different, but you can definitely see the more greener side within um, Tax Free. But yeah, like the main colours look almost exactly like the Alien palette. Now this isn't me slating it. I'm happy in some way because there's a lot of people who didn't get a chance to get the Alien palette. So it's great now that he's bought out another palette that represents it. And, um, you know, doesn't represent the mouldy area 51. Perfection. But, I mean, if you're going to, like, it is so similar. And I think he probably has plugged it. But just, like, be honest about it. If you've plugged an eyeshadow from another palette, like, people are going to realise. They're going to be like, well, it's a bit, sh you know, shit of you or really sneaky of you to do that. But I ain't also complaining about it because, you know, I think Blood Money is always going to be in the collection. So it's great now that people have the opportunity to get the greens that they wanted from Alien. But let me compare to this tiny little elf palette. So what I was actually going to say in this video, I'm just going to say it now before I start. Um, I use Jaded on like my outer and that, but like it's probably almost exactly the same as these colours in here. And this is £3. So I'm going to take the gold out of here. And I'm going to take the gold out of there. Not far off. Not far off. That one's the elf and this one's the Jeffrey one. Meh, not similar, but I mean... Uh, but that's the one out of the elf and this is Jeffrey's. That's jaded and that's the darkest colour out of the Jeffrey, um, elf palette. So what I'm saying is basically, I mean, like, if you want to a budget, that's still a really nice green palette as well, that if you couldn't afford the Jeffrey palette as well. It'd be a good option. Right, okay, I'm finally going to get onto the tutorial. 
tutorial. It's probably going to be a little bit funny for me because I don't normally record on this eye. It's because this side's my good side to take photos on, so I didn't want to do the Alien palette just because it was really shit on this side. And I had to like... Or like if it's really good and then shit on this eye and I can't take the photo. So um, yeah, I'm going to do it on this eye and I'm going to obviously explain to you what I used and how it's comparable to the Blood Money palette. And I'm also going to use the same brushes for this as well so it doesn't like mix with anything. So the first shade I'm going to take out is Flying Saucer from the Alien palette which is exactly the same as Crocodile Tears from the Blood Money palette. And I'm just taking an angled brush to do this so I'm literally going to see if I'm in focus first and I'm just going to carve out that shape I want. This will never be really careful because I'll carve it out anyway. This is exactly the same as the other side. Also I didn't record this side because I just would have been such a long fucking video and I didn't want to do a really long video. Okay, so I've got that down. I then took, I don't know what I took, what did I take? Oh. I took a Morphe M431 which is like a blender brush and I'm just going to take the flying saucer shade on it and I'm just going to blend that out. Um, I haven't done a review on this palette obviously because I felt no need to review it because I've had this palette for ages. Um, from what I can remember using it, it is not the greatest palette of blending. Um, so um, I remember the formula being quite dry even though some of them were beautiful. It was a bit of a pain in the ass to blend. What I'm then going to do is grab a Morphe M507 brush and I'm going to take Abduction, which is the dupe shade for Chameleon Fetish, which is like the limey, is it Chartreuse? Oh my god, I can never say it, never mind. Uh, shade, and I'm basically going to blend that on the top. Mm, Alright, I can see a difference already. It's a little bit more deeper. Yeah, definitely you can see the yellow more. <gasps> Guys, I can't believe I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video. I put my blood money, the first one I done, um, photo on one of Jeffree Star's tweets. The motherfucker liked it. Jeffree Star saw my face and I died over it. Fucking died. Yeah, you can see the difference. Not a huge difference, but there is a difference. But the, the green, the, the crocodile tears and the flying saucer shade are exactly the same colour. I'm going to get the shade Pluto on a Zoeva Luxe pencil brush and I'm going to take that, no, oh, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me? Get the Pluto shade and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. A lot of it according to me because I did not need to put that much on. I'm just going to blend that out. You can definitely see where I've put Divine Intervention at the top here and then I've put Pluto where it's a little bit more yellow toned as well. So what I'm going to do is just quickly cut my crease and I shall be back. I can't begin to tell you how much I just fucked up this side but I'm going to make it work but I mean like March 2020 or January to March 2020 the rest of 2020 <laughs> fuck what is that what did I do like I put Vaseline too much far up and I took off my eyeshadow so fuck it you all sort of look like anyway I can't fucking salvage it so I'm trying my best to like put loads loads of <laughs> what am I doing and the more I blend the more it comes off even though I put base back down Fuck it, yours. Oh, my, nah. I'm just going to carry on though, folks, because I have not got time and I'm recording this video whether you like it or not. Whatever. So I'm just going to take a eyeshadow brush from uh, Royal and Lime Nickel and I'm going to take the shade Jaded and I'm basically going to put that in my outer part of my eye and my inner corner. 
Oh shit, I just realised I need to clean this up with a wet wipe. Oh, I've done my base, for fuck's sake. I do this every time. A Morphe S10 and I'm going to take the shade, it was called Alien from the Alien palette and I'm just going to put that bang on in the middle of my eye. Exactly the same as Poison Ivy, basically. Like I said, all this is really rough so I'll go back in. Also my giveaway what would it, like someone give me that is literally the same fucking shade um ideas because i was just gonna go on beauty bay but i mean like everyone write in a comment what you would like to win i mean i'm not fucking made of money folks like a palette and maybe something else like little i might invest in um but i'm really thinking about possibly giving like the blood money palette um buying one and giving one away but comment down below and give me some ideas because What's the point of me? I mean, I still might choose something Jeffree Star, but I know not everyone likes Jeffree Star, so let me know. So because there isn't much of a dupe shade of um, Emerald Estate, I'm gonna use that from the Blood Money palette with the same brush. This one's a little bit, I mean, it comes off, but it's got a little bit of um, a hard pan to it. You have to really scrape it, and I'm gonna basically put that next to it. gonna get the shade jaded and blend the edges out and just intensify a little bit better oh, I can't fucking believe that look at it that looks absolutely fucking awful I mean, I know I've put Emerald Descent on both eyes, but look at the middle. I did add a little bit of like lighter, but it's literally the same shade. Um, with that pencil brush I used for my brow bone, I'm going to take Pluto again, and I'm just going to chuck that very lightly in the very centre. Just so it brightens it up a little bit more. It'll be the fun part when I put UFO mate in a corner which I'm gonna do now, and I think I'm gonna use exactly the same brush. I've just been cleaning my brush off in my dressing gown. So I'm gonna take UFO from the Alien palette, which is the same shade as CEO, and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner. This one I did put lighter, but yeah, it's literally exactly the same shade before I put um, a lighter shade on top of it to make it just a little bit more green. So then what i done, wipe my brush off again, and I'm gonna take the shade Pluto from the Alien palette and I'm gonna put that on top. Oh, what the fuck did I just do then? So I'm just gonna get my eyeliner and I'm just basically gonna do a wing sort of to match up to the symmetry of the green liner. Add a little bit more on here. It's not so much of a blank space. What the fuck am I doing? This is horrendous. Never mind. Never mind. It's okay. Get on. Get on, get on with it. Get on with it. I'm just gonna use my makeup by Tammy as what I've used before, my Apple one in my previous video, and I'm just gonna do that cut crease with blank spaces. Guys, okay, I'm, I'm literally watching. Uh, Rupert's video, and I just realised I've basically almost done exactly the fucking same as him. In no way did I copy Rupert because I had shit on a Jeffree Star group I'm on recently. Um, that My first Blood Money look, a woman wrote on this, she was like, oh my god, um, copy someone's look and don't even give credit to them and you don't even do a good look. And I was like, okay, hun, I literally recreated a look that I'd done in July exactly the same as my Blood Money one. And people went off. Like, I had so many awesome people like proper backing me up, and it was really cool. And she deleted a comment. Whee! But we don't need that negativity in our lives. But I'm just gonna say, I'm literally watching his video, and it almost looks exactly the same. And I've only just started watching it. So, 
Rupert, sorry. It looks almost similar to yours. Well, it looks very similar to yours. Okay, so what I've done with the perversion is that I put it underneath as well and I blended it out. And then what I'm going to do is take a Spectrum A13 and I'm going to take the shade Probe from the Alien palette, which is like that beautiful like oil slick. And I'm basically going to put it on top of that underneath this goes my eye horrendously and I'm gonna get that brush I used like the gold and that on and I'm just gonna blend the gold back in a little bit all right that is like literally the look I'm gonna put some bottom mascara on I'm gonna put my lashes on I'll go through what I've got on and then I'll give you my phone oh my god sorry my final thoughts <laughs> Guys, I don't know how I feel about this. Do the hoops suit me? Do I look like a massive chav or do I just look like a pirate or a pirate chav? I really don't know how I feel about earrings and dangly ones on me. I just feel like they don't suit me. Yeah, I can't. It ain't me, y'all. I like my. Okay, so here's the finished look. My eyelash is stuck into that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, apart from this absolute fucking shit show of a night, as you can see, it's much more higher up because I just rushed it and I got rid of a lot of it. Um, there's not much of a huge difference. I mean, the only shade I didn't use from Alien was Jaded and Emerald Estate. I mean, like, there's not much of a huge difference. Um, I can't be how shit that eye is, but like literally the gold's exactly the same, the bottom shade's exactly the same, the alien shade's exactly the same, the crocodile sh uh, shade is exactly the same. Um, overall, I still would recommend the Blood Money, regardless of Alien. I know it's not um, here anymore, but I've always had trouble with like Alien and its blendability, even though I looked okay kill this eye and I fucked it royally. Um, yeah whatever um i just want to do a really quick comparison i didn't want to do anything like fanatical because like i said i'm recording really late at night um my base is urban decay all nighter my highlighter is green one from revolution my lips are actually stark naked urban decay and i nude from jeffrey star like ombre and put together and i really really like it um so yeah lashes the girls with attitude mer babe what is going on here so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to me, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. When I get to 700 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Like I said, give me a comment down below of any suggestions of what you'd like to see in the giveaway. Um, like I said, I might do two items. Uh, don't rake me out of my bank balance, please. I don't have a lot of money, but I'm willing to buy like a good palette and maybe something else as well. So yeah, don't forget to comment down below. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.